So what is my thoughts about the Extreme Bull Commander and the Motion V12? Even if they are not similar, because obviously this wheel doesn't feel like a 16 inch, it feels more like a bigger wheel. Many of you guys want to know which one you should purchase. If you want to know everything about it, stay tuned until the end of the video. Hi everyone, Marcus here from Edpack, and if you love ECs, PVs and everything that have an E of the electricity, this is the place for you. And today is another comparison, not that many of you guys want to see this, but few of you guys wanted to have an idea if you should purchase the Emotion V12 or if you should purchase the Commander High Speed, because I simply hated the Commander High Torque. If you don't have seen that comparison between these two, these two videos, but one of them is more about performance and how is to ride with one compared to the other. If you don't have seen that video, definitely check it out. And today we are basically going to put side by side these two amazing wheels that I simply love it. And there is something in common between these two that I like a lot these wheels are the two easiest wheels to ride so if you are a new rider and you are searching for first wheel but you want a lot of battery it feels very easy to accelerate brake everything this wheel is the purchase for you with some caviars like it gets hot very very easily so if you live in a hot country skip this one the emotion v12 it's very easy to do everything but because it's a 16 inch you need to readjust how you ride it. You don't need to do basically anything to ride this one. I believe it's going to change when we'll have here on the channel the Emotion V12 High Torque, but now we are just going to put side by side Emotion V12 against Extreme Bull. Let's already talk about the handle. And here they are basically the same height. So if you are a tall guy, they are a little bit short, but if you are basically my size, definitely not a problem but obviously the handle on the Emotion feels much more sturdy than this one. And obviously on this one, you have the cuts on the inside and obviously you can have some water going in. So have that in mind. Here is a solution that the handle is just on the outside. So it's impossible that it's going to affect the amount of waterproofing. And obviously if you put side by side, one of the concerns that is you have a wheel that is waterproof, you have a much better solution here than in here. And also about safety and fires, this is much more superior than the Commander. To be completely honest with you, the only brand that I'm not so concerned to put to charge at night is Emotion because of all their safety features. When we look to the front of the wheel, in both situations, you are going to have some LEDs. I feel that the LEDs are a little bit more visible on the Commander than on the Emotion V12. I will definitely like that the plastics on the Emotion V12 High Torque are a bit lighter than this one because the LEDs are quite strong, but when you take out the shell, it's not a problem to have brighter LEDs, but having plastics, they are not as dark as this ones. We ask that in the prototype, but unfortunately they continue to be quite dark. And when we jump to the front light, both of them, they are not really powerful, but the area where you are going to have light pointing with the Emotion V12 is much, much better than don the Commander High Speed or High Torque, whatever is your choice. So this one, even if you go up the hill, you can see where you are going. Doesn't happen with the Commander, or Extreme Bull Commander. So have that in mind when we talk about the port I like the position on the commander but I also like the position on this one this one never open even if it's on the back you are safe and here you have a few more features you have a USB C door and a USB door so if you need to charge your phone you have that in there so definitely a plus when we continue to look to the top i'll prefer the position of the turn on and turn off on the commander that when you look to the emotion v12 it's quite easy to press it and to turn it off so something that i don't like so much on this one but looking to the screen is night and day i prefer 100 times the screen on the emotion than on the commander and another feature that you have on this one is obviously being able to change your settings without taking your phone outside so definitely a plus. Another thing that is better on the Emotion V12 is the possibility to have sound wave without having to use your phone. Yes, you can do that with the Commander, but for that you need to use basically UC World or Darkness Bot. So that is a disadvantage but it's possible to do with this one but you will be running out the battery of your phone something that will not happen with the 
Emotion V12. Obviously, if we talk about range, that is nothing comparable. Here you have 3,600 watt hours, here you have 1,700. So if range is something that you want to consider, definitely go to the Commander because you are going to have much more battery to go from point A to point B. When we look to the sides of the wheels, I have to say to you guys that I prefer in a certain way the sides on the Emotion than on the Commander, but both of them, they are very comfortable between your legs. But this one, you have the LEDs on the sides. So if you are riding during the night, you are more visible than with the Commander. So definitely a plus on the Emotion V12. And when we talk about the pedals, even if this is the standard ones, I have to say to you guys that I prefer the pedals on the Emotion. Even if it's grip type, I never really felt that I'm losing the grip, obviously, if it's really, really wet and it's raining a lot, you are going to lose a bit of grip, but nothing spectacular in there. And another thing that I like about the Emotion, as you can see, even if you just open a bit, they don't drop. Something that I think that all the brands should have, and that is easy, it's just an extra screw on the bottom here, and you have that feature. I don't understand why other brands, they don't copy that. In here, you have the magnet. So if the magnet is not strong enough, that always happen in all big gods, Gotway wheels, they are going to basically fall. Here, no problem. You don't need a magnet, so definitely a plus. Another thing that I really like about the Emotion V12 is that you have a cut switch. So if you have to go on a train, it's much, much easier. And obviously, when we look to the weight, it's definitely better on here than in here. So if you need to go on the train, on a bus, and you need to carry around, this is 29 kilos and here you have 35 kilos. But if you are a new rider, which one, for example, is easier for you to just jump and do your stuff? And I have to say to you guys, that is the Commander, because this wheel is very easy to accelerate and brake. Here it takes you a while to get used to because just a small change is going to basically drop you out. So if you put too much effort to do something, something that is normal in basically 95% of all the wheels that I tested out, is going to basically bail you off. So this wheel takes you a little bit longer to get used to. I remember when I just get it, I didn't like it, but after that you learn how it rides and how you do everything on this one, it's so good to feel connected to this wheel because it's effortless. You don't have to do any effort to curve, to brake. Another thing that is much, much better on the Emotion V12 is the stand. So whatever is the surface, and this one is definitely not the best surface in the world, you can see that I'm beating up the wheel and it stays in place. Here you just have a piece of plastic and it's already bent like I have already said to you guys, just to put it on the stand at home, it starts bending up. So, nah, it's definitely not the best solution in the world. When we talk about tire, I really like an off-road tire and I said that in the past about the prototype of the Emotion V12, I would like to see a tire that will give you much more grip than this one. I ask for the solution also with an off-road tire, so some, some of you guys maybe want an off-road tire to give a little bit more stability and also more comfort, and because of this wheel you can completely customize how much it curves, how, how is the sensibility on the back of the, of the pedals, on the front. I think we can basically readjust this wheel to be good for any tires that we want. This one, if it's raining, if it's winter, it's not safe, in my opinion. So I'm really excited to really soon be able to bring to you guys the Emotion V12 High Torque. And if you want to see that one and other reviews, definitely don't forget to subscribe because they are coming to the channel and we'll be covering them all in here. When we talk about build construction, it's not even comparable. I have to give to the Emotion V12. I crash at 40 miles per hour. And if that happens with this one, this one will have come apart because these have the same issue as the, the Gotway or Big God MSP because this is the junction of two pieces of plastic. So when this hits, is it's going to open. So definitely a type of design that I don't like it. Here is rubber that is going to hit the floor. I damaged quite a bit around the screen, but nothing more than that. And it was a massive crash, like I said to you guys. When we talk about speakers, it's a mix. I really like the speakers here and I really like the speakers here. When we talk about where is coming the sound, definitely here is much better because you have sound coming from the front and the back. Thank <laughs> you. 
So if you are in a group ride and someone is behind you, they can't hear the music. You can hear quite a lot of music because it's coming also from the front. It's bringing you the music to your ears. In here, you just have the speakers on the back. Definitely not the best solution, but also you have much more bass on this one than in this one. Something that I would love to see on the Emotion V12 High Torque Improved. Let's see if that is going to happen. When we talk about power, I have to say to you guys, here you have a high speed and here you have the high speed. You have more power when using your commander and that's normal because here you have 3600 watt hours so they can deliver more energy to the wheel but in the same time this is so silent you don't have any fans and they are improving their MOSFETs so definitely a problem that we are having with this one and we'll be able to see really soon if it's not a problem anymore and we'll be testing out also doing the test on the Emotion V12 high torque when we will arrive. I have to say to you guys that this is really silent and that is definitely a pro and I'm not concerned that the temperatures here will raise. So even if you live in a hot country, that's not a problem to run your Emotion V12. When we talk about the mudguard, both situations they are not the best. Here, the, all the dust will go up better than the prototype, but it continued to be in there. And obviously the lack of quality that you'll find on this mudguard, it's, it's, it's incredible. <laughs> it's really, really bad. And like I said in the full review, I don't like the position of these speakers because all the dust is going in that direction. So have also that in mind. One thing that I almost forgot to tell you guys, it's a feature that I really like on the Emotion V12 because I had a bad experience with the Commander High Torque in the train, is that you have an easy cutoff on this one. So if it starts to bend to the side, it will cut off. In here, basically, this wheel gets stuck between two seats and it starts to accelerate and when it starts to fall to the side, it continues to spin. In that moment, it hit my leg really, really hard. I don't know if I still have a, a bruise. No, I don't have it anymore, but it was really painful. So definitely something that I would like to see in more wheels that you find on the Emotion V12. It seems that it's small things, but makes a lot of difference. But yeah, this was my thoughts about these two amazing wheels. That is two of my favorite wheels of 2022. If you have any questions about this, leave in the comments below. If you have any comparison that you'd like me to bring to the channel, feel free to let me know in the comments. My name is Marco, this is Matt Peck. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment below, smash the thumbs up, do whatever you want, but always with a smile on your face. And I hope to see you in the next one.